warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today we will present our business enterprise application project. Our team has uh, chose Hyperion Oracle technology to be implemented into this system. Uh, next is this is our team members: Mama Arif Ikwan, Siti Musina, Zaika Surya, Nur Akila, and Chezawani. Next is this is our agenda that will be present in this uh, presentation. And this is introduction. Hyperion Oracle main purposes is to help mid and top level management uh, in gain insight into the relevant tasks like budgeting, forecasting, financial coordination, and many more. Next is Hyperion application helps to build complex and automated business logic that always to perform uh, tasks with ease. The reason why we choose this technology is it has an ability to analyze data process as well as it is mainly used to update and advance technology. It, with this advantage, uh, it also helps to decentralize planning, budgeting, forecasting user that helps to smooth out operation planning process and improve business predictability. And for our uh, implementation cost and import, Okay, first Oracle Hyperion Finance Management. For Oracle uh, Hyperion Finance Management, is a finance consolidation and report application built with advanced web technology and designed to be used and maintained and maintained by the finance team. Next point, it provides finance manage the ability to rapidly cons consolidate and report finance results. Meet a global re regulatory requ requirement, reduce the cost of conflict, and divide confidence in the number. Okay, next is uh, implementation cost. For item implement implementation cost, we use a five item, and the, all the cost for this item is one hundred thirty thousand. And for timing cost, is we use a uh, three. Three training cost and the on total is eight thousand and certification exam cost we use three and one thousand cost for this uh, certification exam is one thousand eight hundred forty four twenty four and the, all the cost for this uh, implementation is one hundred forty thousand something. So that's all for implementation cost and report. Okay, my name is Cik Zawani Binti Cik Mansu and I will present about my part is skill and expertise required. Uh, skill and expertise required uh, to implement the Hyperion Oracle onto the clinic system is required new staff and admin for the installation into the system. Uh, for the skill and expertise, we have uh, four criteria and first is product knowledge uh, for product knowledge uh, to help help to solve business solution like financial operation include the financial management uh, consideration and reporting budget and planning with the business intelligence uh, two is technical high period skill for the technical high period skill is the strong technical skill ba uh, based on app like the process of some infrastructure tasks. And then the technical and functional skill should be based on the business and finance organization on the individual need that in the business. Uh, for the technical skill, we have four criteria. First is familiarity your data loading and integration tool, understanding of high period reporting product, the ability to manage user security rule and access, and the last, the ability to perform monthly metadata maintenance. Okay, this uh, for the third uh, skill is functional experience. The required technical skill, but the good admin will know the language of the finance and accounting section. The Admin uh, for this uh, section, they must know the language for the finance department. Uh, they have three example criteria for the functional experience. 
first have an experience in setting up, opening and closing business process with the Hyperion skill, Hyperion tool. Uh, third, uh, second is have an experience in create and maintain financial report. And the third have the knowledge in ensuring data accuracy and integrity. Okay, for personal trade, the candidate needs to have a good relationship with the organization and be able to handle a heavy workload and effectively communicate with people and need to take responsibility. For example, criteria for personal trade first need to be excellent and uh, to organize an interpersonal skill. They have must have the interpersonal skill and they need to be able to solve the problem and solve the skill. Uh, they have must this skill to handle the problem. And then have an excellent documentation skill are required. That's all. Hello. My name is Mama Alif Iqbal and I will present about license. Customer with legacy underwrite system now, for that license must pay a foundation and a permanent migration fee to migrate the corresponding our hyper lesson, which include hyper foundation service. Hyper product option license quantity also must match the number of license of the associated hyper product. Authorized use of DRM API. DRM stands for Data Relationship Management Web Service API are available to Oracle Data Relationship Steward or Oracle Data Relationship Governance License user who has been provisioned with an appropriate rule in one or more data relationship management application. Proxy users are allowed to use the DRM request API. It offers the ability to create an update request which would be used by external workflow application to persist pending change to their end. Uh, this is a uh, data integration. Hyperion Data Integration Management, it provides a platform for companies to access, integrate, move and transform any of their data between Hyperion or any, any system uh, that virtually frequency any format which is able to eliminate the uh, fragmentation data throughout the enterprise wherein the deployment uh, of EPM and BI will be optimized. Next is Hyperion EPM application. It is relied on one integration tool which uh, will gather data from a company's various transactional system and transform a, or convert it into a form which can be loaded into EPM application. Ne uh, be uh, next is based on our research on uh, integration tools, we managed to identify both advantage and disadvantage between ODI and FDMEE. First, we will take a look on ODI, which stands for Oracle Data Integrator. The advantage is based on ELT, Extract Load Transfer Architecture. It's capable of transforming large volume of data efficiently. Lastly, it supports several data types of source and target system, which can be easily configured to extract data. But the advantage of it, uh, very technically tools and not all user are friendly uh, not user friendly uh, there is no audit trust support lastly the license cost is very high okay we will go to the FDMEE which stands for financial data management enterprise edition the advantage of it, it is user friendly provide a useful drill provide a user different out of the box report useful for auditing purposes can be user specific and component specific hence multiple user can load data to multiple user without interfering with each other loads lastly it able to ideal tool for monthly actual data loads and yearly budget or forecast data loads but the advantage of it, 
since it is a website uh, website tool, the network speed directly impact the performance, and the performance becomes slow for very large data. If source data required to be extracted from database table, additional coding needs to be then which may need IT support. That is the advantage, uh, disadvantage of it. Thank you. Next, we'll be going to the data storage. Assalamualaikum. Uh, My name is Nur Ahsila Bikri Adikullah. So, I'll be explain about the data storage. Okay, first is Oracle Data Relationship Management, DRM. Okay, DRM uh, is the enterprise change, is the solution in order to um, build the consistency of the data and also the accuracy of the data. So, uh, big companies uh, have their own uh, company's data where they need to secure and also they need to uh, make it uh, confidential from the other outsiders. So, uh, the DRM is, fortunately, is to master the data management due to enables the financial and also the analytical master data in dynamic. Also, it is fast changing, changing business environment. Okay, next, I proceed to the analytical and the MDM, where uh, it is to create an enterprise view of analytical dimensions. And the consistency with the master data also construct uh, based on the uh, data validation and also the business rule that will enforce the enterprise governance uh, policies. Uh, and last but not least is financial MDM, where uh, it is the function of financial MDM is to create the accountant that contains of the financial chart of enterprise view, where they can make hierarchies and also their ledger of their account in here, financial MDM. Next is also has the cost center and also the, le uh, the le le legal entities with a view to ongoing the financial management. Uh, lastly, it can based on the consistent definitions that the financial also of the reporting structure by the ledger system, planning and also the budgeting system. That's all from me. Okay, next we proceed to the report. Okay, uh, for the report, uh, can uh, financial stakeholder information in uh, many different formats, uh, which is uh, have delivery requirements compliant uh, that will regulate the external requirements. Next uh, point is to provide flexibility of the output and also delivery. The hybrid record able to produce board room quality, which can be uh, delivered in any uh, variety of formats, including in HTML, PDF, and also uh, mobile devices. So uh, the last point is Microsoft. Uh, this Microsoft can ensure timeliness and also accuracy where it can be uh, updated from uh, where it can enable the users to access data and also analyze from a variety of uh, sources. Okay, I will present about the 2B model diagram. This is the 2B model diagram from uh, for the appointment booking process for this system. Uh, they have two users, first is patient and admin and the system, uh, they have no manual system and they have only online system. Okay, first, uh, patient, when patient need, uh, want to use the system, they have to log in website. This is the first step. And then they have, uh, the uh, after login, they will in the appointment. After inquiry the appointment, they will be verified patient appointment. And then, if the uh, uh, system is not available, they will send the um, detail, uh, send the patient detail to the other clinic, and then the system will stop. If the um, appointment is available, they will send available slot time and then they will proceed to the book appointment date and time and then if the process is set they will continue to the to this process send patient detail to the clinic and then the process will stop if the, the uh, book appointment date and time reject the process will be suggest the new date and appointment and the process will be verified 
and then if available they will set and the sister will uh, go look and then if the uh, process is not available they will send the patient later to the other clinic and this uh, process will be stopped. Uh, that's all from me. Now uh, I will present to be more the diagram of queue management process which is involved the admin clock and also for the patient. Okay, first uh, the admin clock, we send the notification to patient one day before their appointment. So as for the patient status, uh, there will be the patient that arrive tomorrow and also no response from the patient. As for the patient arrive tomorrow, they will reply the notification by email. As for that, they have two uh, two types of condition which is the existing patient and also the new patient. As for the existing patient, they will directly get the queue number and then I and can get the consultation from doctor. So uh, the admin will generate invoice with medicine description and then they will proceed make payment and leave the clinic and the process will stop. And as for the new patient, they need to register online at the website and get the queue number. Next, get consultation surgery from the doctor. And admin will also generate invoice with a medicine description and proceed with the make payment and leave cleaning. And the process will stop. As for the patient status who not responds to the notification uh, where there no reply from the patient. And then uh, the admin club will search the customer ID and find uh, their patient invoice. So they have uh, two uh, condition which is the invoice uh, had found and also no record found. As for invoice found, uh, they will update a uh, patient appointment online and the process will stop. As for no record found, they will uh, again they will notify the customer and we will reschedule the appointment and the process will stop here. Okay, that's all from me. Okay, now I will present about conclusion. Have we our, our care able to improve predictability to do a finance work and the access user-friendly dashboard and interactive analytic while working with the planning system? Second, it's supporting the application does require some planning and effort. And next, it also provides many tools to support the making of workflow and the last one is Hyperway Oracle will cover to the best approach and tools and tools to the to support the application and we can see how having a change a change the control process will minimize problems.